Babe, there's a shark behind you. She has been weirdly accurate. <gasps> They're warm. Wait, what? There was a little bit of some confusion. The world is not a scary place. But then it got weird. I'm lost. Okay, good morning. I am just getting ready to have my little solo day out and about. James is going to be at work all day, so it's just going to be little old me exploring the town. Finishing touches, sunscreen, very important. Don't ever forget your neck and your decolletage and your hands. Sunscreen, your hands. I definitely want to go on a bike ride. I actually wanted to go on a kayak today. So I think I mentioned in my last vlog that James and I went to Australia for our honeymoon. For our very first day, James and I are at the beach, you know, we're so in love, all lovey-dovey, and we're about, I don't know, 200 feet away from shore. So James, he's like on his tiptoes, he's 6'3", so I'm just pure floating, right? I'm 5'5". Five, five. Suddenly, like eight feet behind him, I see this shark fin appear. Now, I've watched enough nature documentaries, okay? I know not to panic when you see a shark. Very calmly told James, I said, babe, there's a shark behind you. But by the time he turned around to look at it, the fin had already gone back into the water. Immediately, my body is just like full of fear. And I just know at that moment, this creature, this beast, this, this shark knows that I'm afraid of him. But James very calmly grabs my hand and says that we're just gonna walk in the other direction. And at this point, I don't know where the shark is. He doesn't know where the shark is. And you know, I'm just floating. I'm actually not a very good swimmer. I'm kind of scared of the water, but over the years, I've really forced myself to do things in the water. He grabs my hand and he just gently walks us over to a different area. And I decide that I'm gonna look behind us so I can watch if the shark suddenly comes out. Everything's fine, crisis averted. We fondly like to call the shark Benny. We talk about Benny sometimes and you know, we hope Benny's doing well, but I think you guys, like I'm not gonna lie, that experience messed me up. I had just gone over my fear of water and I'm actually, I wasn't afraid of the water because of the sharks and, and, and you know, all the things that happen in our ocean abyss. I didn't want to drown. I feel like ever since that happened, I am now afraid that I'm gonna see a shark when I go snorkeling or, you know, you see, you see those people consumed by the whale um, in their kayak. When there was an option to kayak today, I just thought, we're in California, you may be the bay, but that leads to the ocean, and the ocean has sharks, and I, I just, I'm working through it. No on the kayaking, but I will be going on a bike ride. I'm just putting on some pixie on the glow blush. I love efficiency, I love multi-purpose tools. I actually found a super cute fortune cookie store where you can make your own personalized fortune cookies, which that's so, that's like so adorable. So of course I'm gonna go do that. Let's just see how the day goes. It's just you and me today. actually gonna go and get some pineapple buns. I was gonna go there later, but there's a really good chance that they will sell out and James wants one and I wanna make sure I get one. So it's only a four minute walk from the hotel. I'm gonna go pick up some buns, bring you along with me, come back to the hotel, drop off the buns, and then the adventure will begin. Are you guys seeing this? Should I go? My family in Taiwan actually does have a family fortune teller and I don't know how everyone feels about it. She has been weirdly accurate. She told my youngest aunt that when she was, well, that's her personal business, but anyways, she told her something about a divorce and a marriage when she was a certain age and I'm just going to say it happened. Oh, oh. Okay, that was great. I put the hotel up on the terrace. 
I wanted to give you guys a little showcase of what I got. I only got three things and one of them is for James, but I got two pineapple buns, two pineapple buns, and I also got a taro bun. How do I describe what this is? Let me show you what they look like first. Oh, look at warm. This is a pineapple bun. It's called a pineapple bun because, well, there is no pineapple in it. Inside is um, typically custard or just the bun part. You know, I'm gonna Google exactly how to explain a pineapple bun because I feel like if I do it, it'll be kind of painful. Ta-da! I did get a taro bun. Oh, they're warm. God, oh, this one's huge. Hand taro bun. Hand taro bun. Hand taro bun. See that steam? Okay. I think this is the best taro bun I've ever had. So you see that light purple color? That's the taro. And in this one, everyone has kind of a different variety in how they make them. This one you still actually have a little bit of like the chunks of taro, but the taro itself is very soft. So you bite into a little chunk and it just melts in your mouth. And this top part, I don't really know what it is, but it kind of provides an extra crispy texture. Wait, what? Here's the new look. Same dress, same shoes, different jacket. Next time you see me, I will be on a bike. There was a little bit of some confusion. The bike rental place that's supposed to be in this area, I guess, is actually permanently closed. There are some bike rentals around the city that you can do, but they're kind of too far away from where I want to be biking because I just don't want to be dealing with a bike in the city. And honestly, I'm kind of a cautious person, so I'm just going to walk around the waterfront and see what the trail is like. I really wanted to be on a bike today. <laughs> found them. The next step is to figure out how to do this. Luckily it's not too far from where I want to be biking. I am brave. I can do this. The world is not a scary place. I'm gonna ride it by the water. Oh, this is what I wanted. Okay, we can do this. Ah, you guys, it's happening. We set a goal and we're doing it. <laughs> so it's not actually really clear where I can go. Oh, I don't really know where I'm allowed to bike. Oh my god, that's a big hill. Apparently this is a really long bike trail, but I'm kind of confused. We just use your error, you guys. Whew. Hey y'all, I'm back at the hotel. It was a really fun bike ride. I'm really happy I ended up going. It was really beautiful, I biked by the water, and then I thought the bike trail was longer, but then it got weird, like it started getting, I don't know, kind of sketchy. So I decided to head back, and now I'm back at the hotel just, just resting. I know I had all these plans, but you know, sometimes traveling is just about doing what you want and laying on your hotel bed when you want. James actually just let me know that we will be staying here a little bit longer. We have to change our flight till tomorrow evening. So that means that you and I will actually have a little bit more time tomorrow to explore. And then I actually did reach out to that fortune cookie place that I mentioned. I just gave them a call to see if they could still do these personalized messages for me since it's kind of on short notice. I think it's gonna work. It's still to be decided. Until then, I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. Good morning everyone from a cloudy day in Oakland. I'm about to go grab some breakfast from a Taiwanese restaurant. Small little joint, they only have about four items. I'm probably, I'm probably gonna get three of them. I'm lost. I found it. <laughs> Found 
a little spot to enjoy my soy milk. So Taiwanese soy milk is not like the soy milk that you necessarily know here in the States. It's just, gosh, you know, another expert from Google about what it is, but it just tastes different. It gets sweet or unsweetened. It honestly just tastes like home. So I was raised in the States and the first time I went to Taiwan was when I was 15 years old. I remember that airplane ride so well. The moment that plane increased to depart and the moment that I walked out of those airplane doors in Taiwan and felt the intense humidity just wrap around me, I just knew that I wanted to travel. I wanted to travel and prioritize anything and everything I could to be able to do it. After college, I actually moved to Taiwan for a year. I taught English and it really helped me kind of get to know my roots. I completely fell in love with the country. And honestly, if I could, I probably would still be living there. Who knows where life takes us? I'm really connected to Taiwan, the people, the food, the culture. I'm really grateful that I was able to be born in America and kind of be split in between two places. I'm just, I feel so grateful. Okay, these are tea eggs. They're basically boiled eggs that have been marinated into this um, tea herbal mixture. You actually get a tea egg almost anywhere in Taiwan at a 7-Eleven. A little bit cracked already, so I'm just gonna start peeling away. You can see that the egg is kind of a brown color, and that's from the marinade. I petition for all boiled eggs to taste like this. Tea eggs only. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Actually, here's something kind of random. James also lived in Taiwan for about a year, and this was before we even knew each other. And when we started dating, we found out that we actually had both moved to Taiwan, same month, same year, and we actually came back to the States around roughly the same time. He lived in Taipei, which is up north, the capital, and I lived in Taizong, which is right in the middle. Never knew each other. I always imagined that like maybe we're on a train ride and we just like pass each other. I'll tell you more about our story in another video. Let's try this tea egg. Mm. Oh my god. It's so good. The flavor started to describe more savory, deeper, more in-depth flavor. Just almost melt in your mouth, honestly. Mm. That is so perfect. Thanks for doing that. I'm sorry it was so short notice. I got it. I'm gonna head back to the hotel and I will show you what they look like. I'm so excited. So cute. Okay, you guys, I am just so happy. I'm just, I'm just so grateful. You know, overall Oakland, honestly, there were some sketchy parts, but honestly, I had such a great experience. I got the fortune cookies, and what I did basically was yesterday, I talked to them on the phone, and I just texted them the personalized messages that I wanted. I just got some for my friends and my mom and James. Okay, they're so cute. Let me just show you some of them. I'm just laughing at what I wrote. Friends for life, you can't get rid of me. <laughs> My mom's, I wrote, keep dancing, keep laughing, keep choosing yourself. Ugh. Are you a fortune cookie? So it's James, my love, my husband, my soulmate forever. Let's continue manifesting and flourishing. Do you like it? Yeah. Thank you. This is so sweet of you. I know, thank you. <laughs> You're like, I know. I mean, like, I know it's really cute, is what I meant, because it's adorable.